Wow, 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 what's popping good people? Mko vipi, mambo vipi, mko poa. Maxi Daniel here. Today we are doing red. Eh? Simba ya. We are trying, we are trying. Eh? Thank you all so much. Manze, but mi wanza hii video na kushukuru bana. Kushukuru. Na shukuru sana because of the subscriptions. Manze tumeenda, tumeenda. Eh? People have been, there, there, there are people who came in the, 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 on the, in the comment section and they were saying ometumwa na so and so. Thank you all so much. Uh, is it Emma Wajamu? <laughs> that one, that one, that one ilibaki. How are you all doing? Mutani ambeve nye pale comment section. Aha. So, um, the people when you follow pale social media, pale WhatsApp, they are, they, I, I promised that our next video itakuwa, itakuwa on uh, matters uh, sexual uh, violence uh, in family and in different setups. So, hmm, over the week, uh, all through I've, I've had different stories uh, people have told me their stories people have told me their struggles people have people have told me the things that they've had you know and and and, and uh, it's so traumatizing yeah and uh, it's so sad you see because you realize that people are going through things but they cannot speak about them because these are family members these are friends these are people who are known these are these are not people who how do I put it? These are not people that uh, one expect uh, to, for them to do such a thing. Like, you know, if somebody tells me that, that uh, some years back they were defiled by a pastor, you know, that, that, that just, it traumatizes you, you see. Somebody tells you that their stepfather defiled them or their, their, their stepmother or, or an aunt of theirs or an uncle. And it's, it's so sad when you hear people are being raped and being defiled by people that they, they, they don't expect such from yeah and it's it's really sad yeah so as um i would say i would say as an advocate or as a, or as a human being i am not happy i no one is but i am above all not happy with what happens in our society right now so that's why today um first of all you can see my band it's um it's cute. <laughs> so today I'm, I'm going to I'm going to use this uh, the simplified version of the Sexual Offenses Act to have our conversation. How do I put it so that you understand? The simplified version, yeah. So I'm going to this is it has been simplified by um, Plan International Kenya, yeah. So that is where I was able to acquire it from. So um, I'm just going to I'm just going to tell us some of the some of the effects because um, recently I heard of a story where a girl of a seven year old girl had been defiled by the uncle, but then your story catches a maji, you know, like they, they literally ignored the story. And because she was seven years old, no one wanted to talk about this story. They were like, this is a child, that story is a lie. Yeah. But one thing I know, as much as our justice system is slow, hey, one thing I know, as much as our justice system is slow. Ha! So as much as our justice system is slow, but I know at the end of the day, out of 10 cases, at least seven or eight. Zoo go through. Wadao. Mimi, I, I have been to court before, not as a criminal, <laughs> but I've been there for different reasons. And I've seen people being um, being jailed, yeah? Being being jailed for different uh, reasons. And I know uh, if, if the right channels are followed, these people will definitely go to jail, yeah? So... Let us not have that mentality here in Kenya that certain that justice is really hard to get. You see that it's difficult and you you cannot get justice and and all that. It is difficult, but that does but that that doesn't mean that you should uh, ignore uh, moments when it you know you should ignore uh, crimes when they are committed and you should not talk about them. It is a, it is appropriate to always, always, always. Uh, make sure that uh, every time there's a sexual case, sexual offense violence, you talk about it and we get evidence and we work on it immediately. Yeah, because I know uh, as Maxi Daniel Mimi, I know that I have enough influence, not enough per se, but I have at least good influence in that I am able to get you to a certain place. Yeah, if you call me and you tell me this and this and this is happening, I am sure I'll do the right. I use the right channel, the right, um, the right uh, way to follow up this story. If there's need to go to the GBVR centers, uh, for example, in Kisumu we have two. There's one in 
uh, Kisumu County Hospital. There's one in uh, Just, uh, not Just, sorry. There's one in uh, uh, JTRH, yeah? Just JTRH, wow. There's one in JTRH that is um, popularly known as Russia. So you find um, when such crimes are committed, a person like me who has gone through these channels and who knows the right referral pathway, I'll definitely guide you through it. You see, I'll definitely show you where to go, who, whom to go to first and, and, and all that, you see. Because many times people ask themselves, in case of in case of defilement or in case of rape or in case of sexual assault, whether ni komatatu ko fisi kwa nyumba wapi, where do I go first? You see, and this is what now has altered all these situations. You see, so if if for me if police station in Bali end up chief, yeah. Always start with the immediate duty bearer mwenye kopo karibu. Enda kwa chief. Chief atakupeleka, if uh, chief atakupeleka GBVRC centers, uh, the one that is, is closer to you, atakupeleka. From there, if they need before uh, um, uh, for uh, maybe surgeries or anything, they will cater for it. You see. So cases za GBV, they are free kwa police station, by the way. They are very free. In fact, au pangangi line. I'm not encouraging and I'm, I'm not encouraging cases of sexual of uh, sexual offenses but in case it happens do not go quiet about it because so many people have suffered for so long they're asking themselves what exactly didn't I do right it's because somebody kept quiet about your story because you were young yeah but if 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 you are aware of what is happening you know that there is always a channel that you can follow. Mimi, by the way, I check my inbox on Facebook, Instagram, and everywhere. I check every single day. The same way I check my emails, the same way I check my texts. Because I know at the end of the day, I know that I belong to a community, and this community will need me at the end of the day. So I'll have to check my inbox, Facebook. Somebody would come to me with an issue. I'll check my Twitter, I'll check my Instagram, I'll check every single place, my WhatsApp. I reply to all messages. I mean, by the way, message yako ingia kani meanza respond because you never know at what point, yeah. And that is not just because of the community. I also have siblings. We are I'm a, I, on the in the introductory video. I said we are. I'm a firstborn of seven, so that that means that my phone can ring at any time. Six people will want something from me. You see, they'll want. It's not even just about money. They'll want advice. They'll want to talk to me about something. So meaning my phone is must be. I must be on all the time. So do not go quiet about it. Um, before I forget, um, so this book is so amazing, this booklet. Um, for those people who may want to have a copy, maybe, maybe I'll get you. So um, just, just to read but a few, we have section 8 of this particular book which talks about defilement. And they're saying if, uh, you do, if a person is found guilty, they'll go for life imprisonment if that child is... The, uh, below the age of 11 years and if the person is between 12 to 15 years that child goes for 20 years and if that person is between 16 to that child is between 16 to 18 years the person found guilty goes to jail for 15 years that is defilement pekeake you haven't read about rape you haven't read about attempted defilement you haven't read about um, gang rape you haven't talked uh, talked about child sex tourism you haven't talked about exploitation of, of prostitution, child pornography, child um, uh, child uh, prostitution, sexual harassment. There is so much in here that for those who are able to contact me, you can contact me and I can get you a copy. Or Pion is a better online if you just ask for Sexual Offenses Act, the simplified version uh, 2006, then you'll definitely find it. So do not, do not kill yourself until you're just there and you're quiet about all these stories that are happening. Because at the end of the day, it's going to hurt you. It's going to, it's going to hurt your community. It's going to bring uh, bad, bad, neg bad energy between you and people. You see, because you find some people, uh, for example, some ladies tell me that the reason why they wouldn't want to get married is because of the because of the, um, the the trauma that they have with men. And this is so sad because this person had a good life while they were growing until this particular thing happened to them and now it becomes a problem, yeah? So um, maybe um, maybe just to, to, to clarify, there's also incest in here. I was talking about matters when it comes to uh, rape and defilement within family members. There's also defilement in here. Make sure that you read, make sure that you know your rights, make sure that you understand 
what your rights are because if you do not understand what your rights are people will take advantage of you it's the same thing with politicians they know very well you don't read your constitution they know you don't read your your, your, your the, those papers that they bring to you they don't know even right now most of most people have not read the bbi but then we're just here we're shouting and screaming yet we do not understand what the thing and what the thing is it's like the bible some people will, will interpret the bible the way they want to interpret it yet they haven't gone there and literally read it and understood it yeah so thank you all so much i am i am happy the, with the progress that we are making and i am happy that some of you come to my inbox on social media to go you know so my social media by the way <laughs> is maxi daniel on face maxi daniel maxi daniel of the pen on facebook i have a page called maxi daniel on the pen we have uh, an account maxi daniel on instagram we are daniel maxi two walikata maxi daniel there are so many maxi daniels so daniel maxi two and then uh, on Twitter, we are at uh, Maxi Daniel and uh, also Maxi Daniel on the pen. And then we have WordPress, Tutaweka Pokwa Bio. Also, um, we have, um, we have uh, different places. So anyway, Unachika Kutupata, just know Maxi Daniel or Maxi Daniel on the pen. You'll always, always find us. And also all these amazing t-shirts, Tunauza. <laughs> so once... Um, you want to get a, co uh, a piece of this um, merchandise we have cups we have uh, pens we have books you can always make your order so thank you all so much i'm very very grateful for giving me the chance and also watching my videos it's this one is almost 12 minutes thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this may god bless you abundantly keep subscribing and keep loving it here and remember if you want a copy I, I might decide to give five or six people. So, so. Bye. Thank you, good people.